I have a good one for you today. I have Mr. Rizzi's 2020 C8 Corvette behind me. It is a Faraday edition twin turbo, 1500 horsepower monster. I'll get into more details about it later. Uh, Al, good customer of ours, he actually shipped it to us. He's like me, he's super excited. He shipped it to us probably three or four months before we were even ready for it. Um, so we've had the car here for quite a long time, but we got the car built and finished. Uh, it was probably done probably six months ago. Uh, as most of you know, ECM tuning for these Global B stuff, anything 2020 and up, has been a nightmare. We haven't been able to get into the ECMs until recently. So we actually had his car finished, I'd say six, seven, eight months ago, ready to go. And HP Tuners, uh, I talked to a lot of people that work there, kept telling me, hey, we're about to release it, we're about to release it. So Al just said, man, just keep it, keep it. And also, I, if, I, if I can make anything better for a customer, I'm gonna keep the car and hold it just a little bit longer. And it did get to a point where Al was like, man, you know what, just ship it back to me. I just want the car back and I was like, just give it one or two more weeks and sure as shit, we finally got into the factory ECM. So this is the first 1500 horsepower twin turbo C8 behind me that has run runs on fuel tech, as well as I was able to tune the factory ECM. So tons of pros when it comes to this one versus the other uh, 1500 horsepower C8s that we've built. Um, this one not only hauls ass. All right, the next one too. That's insane! I just think we're this stuff. We're about to pull over. Hold the brake to the floor. Yep. Floor it. Yep. Let it pop and bang. And we go to break. <laughs> we did a burn up. It spun through all the gears. It spun through all of them. We're in fourth gear. Yes. Yeah, maybe do that. a hell of a job on this thank you, on buddy. this thing buddy thank you oh yeah this one not only hauls ass uh drag racing it roll racing it but now that we were able to fine tune the factory ecm uh, which i spent a lot of time doing idle and just drivability stuff uh, it does make the car just that much better and again that's why to put the faraday name on it uh al's wanted it as well as i did to build such a car like this uh, i'm honored to put my name on his car and uh, yeah, it turned out phenomenal. So uh, let me show you. So just like our other ones, guys, first thing that's gonna jump out at you is our top mount turbo kit. Uh, there are other turbo kits now. It's, we're in the year 2023 now uh, for the C8 platform. I don't know of any that are top mounts yet. Most of them are in the bumpers. I think there's one or two kits that kind of sit on the side. Um, so again, when we first designed this thing, I wanted people to go to car shows and be able to pop the hood and just see the money and the horsepower as soon as you pop it. I love it. So it is a precision 62, 66 millimeter turbos. Uh, roughly on the street, we keep it around 15 pounds of boost. At the drag strip, we will run it over 20 something plus pounds of boost, depending on what gear it is. But it is a built motor, so it's a late model engines. Uh, pistons and rods, the block is factory, the crank is factory, and the cylinder heads are just fully CNC'd. Um, obviously good valve springs and stuff like that on it. Uh, next is drivetrain components. 
Al did want the car, just like our other 1500 horsepower customers, uh, to be able to go to a drag strip and race without having any issues. So number one concern is CV axles on these C8s. Even low horsepower cars, uh, when they wheel hop, they can break a CV axle. So we have G4 CV axles in the back, and then the clutch is the number one issue when it comes to big horsepower and getting these CHs to work whether you're roll racing it or drag racing it. So we do have a big clutch in this thing. It's the same clutch that was in our record setting 8 second pass uh, C8 which is also a 2020 model. But this thing now uh, being able to tune it with the ECM uh, the drivability is that much better. The only thing that we're lacking and again Al I'm not going to hold your car any longer is the TCM. So we do stuff um, to trick the TCM to give it more clutch pressure and shift pressure so we can run eights in Al's car. We took it to the track uh, just one time just to make sure everything worked and it ran good. I think it went a 9.0 at 160 miles an hour. To date, he's this is probably the second, if not the third, quickest C8 in the world, uh, right behind ours. So we've built uh, a lot of these over the past two years. Um, but again, this one has the drivability compared to the other ones. So drivetrain components are there, uh, clutch, CV axles, engine, and then when it comes to fuel system and uh, extra horsepower, well, let's go towards the front. So. And then I'll show y'all the ECM and stuff like that. So to get us the fuel, these things are direct injected, just like uh, the C7 platforms and the and the six gen platforms and the V3s. So idle and driving around town, the car still runs off the, the factory direct injection. Factory electric pump in the tank feeds the mechanical pump. It idles and drives around just like stock. Once the car goes into boost, we have an aftermarket ECM, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have our separate fuel tank up front here that has our methanol that once it goes into boost we have a second set of injectors that the fuel tech turns on to give us all the fuel we need this setup here I and mean, we're good for 2,000 plus horsepower when we have a tuning software available for the transmission then we can start tuning these things up and making 1800 2000 horsepower with them so again Al wanted his car back so we're giving it back to him with the TCM not being able to tune it but maybe the next couple weeks months uh, it's available he'll probably send it back and uh, we'll fine-tune that and get this thing to run well into the eight second quarter mile numbers at over 170 180 miles an hour so inside uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but this is the aftermarket ECM um, we can move this in different places people have asked um, because of the location if you want to keep your factory uh, cups to be able to I was just driving here too where did I put it I put my coke somewhere I think I put it right here uh, if you do want your cup holders uh, we have made another section that goes in the glove box to mount them um, Al was okay with it going here so that's where she went and what this system does is it allows us to then once the car makes boost this now takes over so it controls our throttle body, fuel, and spark. And I'm gonna say just a little bit of transmission stuff that's helped separates us a little bit uh, from the other people in the world trying to build these things to get them to run fast, whether it's at a drag strip or at a roll racing event. Um, that is one of the main things right there. Um, but again, we're still limited with the transmission because uh, the clutch can only hold so much horsepower. But this car here made 1300 rear wheel horsepower on the dyno. Uh, on the street and drag strip, I will say it is a comfortable 1,000 rear wheel horsepower that the clutch uh, holds and runs and drives. When I try to push 1,300-ish like we do with the drag strip, uh, some passes 
if y'all watched some of our previous videos, you can hear the clutch slipping and stuff on the big end. Um, some cars, which uh, if you watch other people's channels and other people trying to set records and do stuff, uh, they don't shift at all if, you, if they slip so bad. Um, which we got lucky with his, we took his to the track and right off the bat I think it went a 980, uh, then like a 940, and I think we went a 90. I mean back to back to back, no issues, car ran great, and uh, then we loaded it up and brought it back. Like I said, she's kind of been sitting here for a while waiting for the HP tuner stuff, which we now have. But Al, I appreciate you. And uh, anyone else out there watching this that has a C8 Corvette, um, we have several packages to offer, whether it's uh, you know boosted applications or even naturally aspirated stuff now that we can get to the ECM. So contact our sales staff guys if you're interested in a Faraday edition Corvette, Camaro, TRX, whatever. Uh, one of our sales staff will get you in contact with me and I'll talk to you personally about your needs and goals. And that's really is what separates the Faraday Edition uh, platform versus just our LMR 1500 horsepower. Uh, I give my input throughout the way with the customer. Um, something as small as what color calipers <laughs> the customers want, what color the wheels are and the brakes, stuff like that. Um, but mainly it's performance, aero, uh, and wheels and tires and just drivetrain. If you're a road race guy, we'll be more specific on different stuff than if you're a roll race guy or a drag race guy. So give us a call, contact our sales staff, and they'll get you through to me. Um, we have several different options to choose from, so comment below, guys. Let me know what you have to think about this beautiful car behind me. And uh, yeah, Al, hope you enjoy it, buddy. Until next time, guys.